Hello, hello, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and I am currently... Uh, today I started a two-sided Twitter feud with um, William Shatner, and also rewatched the... Um, we watched the first, uh, the, we watched the Phantom Menace for the first time in years. Um, it's been a weird, it's been a weird day, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, uh, um, also, um, yeah, today we're doing homework, today's a homework communism video. We're starting a, we're playing, uh, Metro 2033, um, I'm actually not sure that this will come up in a way that I deem suitable for public, you know, dissemination. So, uh, I actually, I have it on the low, on 20 frames a second, super low resolution. Uh, yeah, that is the lowest. Um, I set this up earlier. Um, and yeah, so, I have never played this before, blind playthrough. Um, let's see what we got. Um... Uh, let's see. New game. Uh, survival. Spartan. Hmm. I'm actually gonna go with survival, which is it's just which is strange because I almost always go for easier difficulty options. But I've you know, I like how they emphasize this. You know, it's not story, it's faster paced, more action-oriented gameplay, but that's not what I want, so we're gonna go with survival. Um, uh, here we go, though. Ranger Hardcore. Um, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna go with normal difficulty here. I actually like how they have the two different, um, oh, I haven't done this, let's see. Doesn't YouTube compression... I don't know. I'll keep it up. I heard that YouTube compression makes it look darker or something. I'll just keep it like that. The tunnel grew colder. Okay, so so this is based on a novel, a Russian novel I have not read. I'm actually wondering... I feel like I'm going to be referencing HBO's Chernobyl a lot because it's a Russian novel with, you know... It seems like they have similar tones. Also, already I'm kind of reminded of this war of mine, which I should probably do a series on at some point, but not right now. My my brain can't handle that right now. Let's see. Alright, press any key to continue. Okay, this is an interesting on-rail segment. Also, apparently there are spiders in this game. Um, there's, I, I noticed one of my friends has gotten an achievement for getting, for like killing all the, like certain number of spiders. Also, I think I saw a picture that they didn't look as, they didn't look like they would induce arachnophobia. I don't know if that's the case or not, but, um, let's see. Ooh. Even, even in the lowest settings, this lo still looks better than Half-Life 2. Yeah! Oh, jeez. Alright, this is gonna, off to a great start. Yeah! Crap. And bullet I hear that you you use bullet casings here. That did not I mean it's a shame I accidentally used that. Um Okay, I like it that I actually have to hold E rather than just pressing it before I let go. Uh oh. Maybe maybe I should have let go earlier. Ah! Jesus Christ. Don't look at the spiders. Follow me. Artyom, okay. Uh. So they just tell us what to do. Okay. Kind of wish there was a mode that was like the most immersive, but also e like easier difficulty settings rather than. If you want a more immersive experience, well, one, I'm a believer in the immersive fallacy, so that's not necessarily a thing. But, um, if you want an immersive experience, um, uh, oh, that noise that actually kind of spooked me. Well, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, wait, what's with the, what's with the, What's with the breathing?
Oh, those gasp that gasping is, um, woof. It's stressing me out, that's for sure. Oh, God. Um, okay. Wait, what the? Wait, did I not put the gas mask on? Oh, for Christ's sake, you fucking kidding me. Well, sorry. Sorry about this. What did I... What did I miss? Yeah, yeah, shit's always breaking. Always breaking down, my bad. Just don't look at the spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. Take these guns, bullets. Okay. Up we go. Here. Can I save? I can't. Okay, I guess it fits the survival horror feel. Mm -hmm. like so, I'm actually weird. curious as to what exact... Like, the cause of the apocalypse is always really interesting to me. Oh, did I just, like, get killed by monsters? No, I don't think so, because what was with the breathing then? On. Why am I not having the breathing problems? Did they puncture my gas mask last time? I can't, I don't know. Okay, oh yeah, I already mentioned this. I've been playing this blind. Whew. What are these things? <laughs> they do a good job of making me feel, ask what are these things. I heard I should pick up the, sh the bullet casings afterwards. Alright, yes, I'm ready. Manuka. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I love how I dropped through the body. I don't think that was intentional. It was just probably a lucky coincidence. Is that circle in the bottom? Is that CD? It looks like a CD. I'm assuming. There we go. Well, this is certainly. I think this is a good, a great intro to the world, you know, it, it establishes kind of the basics, you know, like under, there's an underground, some apocalypse happens, need gas masks on the outside, really dangerous, but also, um, but also creates a sense of intrigue, you know, I want to know what exactly happened here, what was that? Jeez, watch where you're going, dude. I like how I can still move around. Jeebus. Glad to see you, Colonel. Hi. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell? I don't know. I just entered this world. It kind of feels like... Now I'm thinking about um, Consortium, which is a, ser a game I should definitely do a series on. Which is a game where... You I don't know. I, I I don't know. I shouldn't. Uh, I'll um I'll talk about it later. Maybe. Um, you'll probably understand where I'm going coming from this if you've played Consortium or even if you know the basic mechanic. Key to swap a filter. Oh, that's what happened. I must have missed that prompt. Also, I'm almost out of ammo and surrounded by these guys. That ain't good. Ah! God damn it. 
Oh, wait, okay. This looks like... At first I thought I was dead, which is impressive. You know, this is, if this is a scripted encounter cutscene... I can't... I guess this is a cutscene. Um, it's a good one, because I at first just straight up thought I was dead. Although maybe I am dead. I don't know. But, I mean... The fact that... Was never easy in the but the fact that they, um... The fact that they, um, uh, the fact that they kept, uh, how do I put this? The fact that they, the fact that I couldn't tell whether or not it was, it was real or not. Uh, it makes it, makes it, whether it was intentional, scripted or not, that's, that's the right word. Um, makes it, um, Hunter doesn't sound like a very Russian name. I actually have a cousin named Hunter, but, um, then again, what do I know? Um, uh. I like this kind of solitary guitar riff. Also, what's with all these monuments? Is this like gonna be an Ozymandias thing? Alone in Level Sands. There's Stonehenge. Is that the Köln Cathedral? Cologne? That's Venice. Um, I've been to a lot of these places. That's New York, I wanna say. Or is that Russia? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about all of these. That is St. Peter's Basilica? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Hi there. Holy crap, this game is way more advanced crap. This is probably not gonna be uh, a Chickles and Great Plays episode, but I'm gonna keep talking, I'm gonna keep acting like it is, just just in case, you know. Um, but, um, um, uh, let's preserve fuel. I'm sure it's valuable. Okay, so I like it, you know, standard formula, but it's standard for a reason, you know, action-packed intro um, that set that makes the that get, creates a sense of intrigue and also, you know, action. Metro twenty thirty four. So they, wait, do these books exist in universe, or is this just like an ad, like a weird? Not anachronistic, but like out of like non diegetic Easter egg right in the middle of the game. I don't know. Let's go, Artyom. Move! What I wouldn't give for a gravity gun right now. I actually wonder what the name Artyom means. If it's gonna, if it has any symbolic. Oh yeah, so pretty standard formula. Like create a sense of intrigue, then pull back and do more quiet stuff, more exposition. I mean, it's it's a it's standard for the re for a reason. What are these attacks? Who? What were those creatures? That's what I want to know. Yes, let us see what Hunter says. Sergey, that's that's like one of those like I feel like it's like the Russian version of John Smith, you know, like it's the one thing that all the foreigners, the one name in that language all the foreigners seem to know. No visitor. He was at the outpost. My brother is in. Oh, that's you. Hmm. Again, I don't know what exactly is going on there, but it, it can't be good. Uh, oh, this is a hospital. Well, yeah, I can kind of see why, honestly, why they're not letting him in. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, press F to pay respects. I mean, go to the next page. Okay, so those those creatures we were fighting apparently were called dark ones. Ooh, it's even worse than killing that right. Hey, that that was that wasn't on my own. That was unintentional. Oh, yeah. I can kind of. You don't want your hospitals crowding with um with other people, you know. 
unfortunately. So I keep scrolling, expecting to see the kind of third-person versions of my character, because I've been. I need to continue my series on Oblivion. Um, can't believe, can't believe it's already been a couple days since I did that, but yeah. Um, let's see. It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. You never know. Oh yeah, that's what this is called, Chapter One, Hunter. Wow. Should we be wearing gas masks? Okay, I actually just press G um, to see if the, if it would put on a gas mask, but I didn't, so. The light. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. Hello. What's happening in the outside world these days? Most of what I hear is about exhibition. Exhibition? What the hell is exhibition? Guess we'll find out. Did I mention that this is my first time playing this? Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. Oh, Artyom seems like the, the bit of a dreamer. These are not the usual mutant creatures. Wait, what? I missed it! Else. What the hell? Something much worse. There we go. Thank you. Dark I kind of like that. It holds it out if you miss it. He puts it back in the... Yeah. If it's hostile, you'll kill it. The dark ones do not... Yeah, yeah, they don't kill outright. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The whole... Kirill, take your group Jesus to the tunnel. Christ, this isn't we must good. Stay here and defend the hall. All right, our team, quickly get away. From Where? Locker. Yeah, that's right. Uh, or not. Okay, I'll take one from what you took. Ah, uh, pistol. It'll probably Kirill have to do. To it's the hospital. They smell the blood. Ooh. What are they? Why? What? Who created them? What is going on? So already I'm curious if they're ever going to break first person. I guess they kind of did in the intro, but um, I guess it's not really what I'm talking about either. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Here. This is amazing how many times they end up feeling like one of the goons in... Batman Begins. Ah! At least we don't have companions shouting, Gordon, reload! Gordon, reload! Gordon, reload! Well, if it's hopeless, then we'll go out fighting. So it looks like I, I love, I don't know why, it's just in these games, I love shooting enemies before, while, like, before they even enter the battlefield. I love shooting Cerberus agents in Mass Effect um, 2 and, well, Mass Effect 3, you know, as they enter, as they exit the shuttles and whatnot. Just the usual tunnel trash. Wait, those weren't Dark Ones? The Dark Ones are there. Wait, so what are these? Tunnel trash? I guess. Okay, this kind of reminds me of um, the original ending of I Am Legend, which is a movie I haven't seen, but I know that, that originally the people that the protagonist that Will Smith was killing, I don't know the protagonist name, I'm just, call him, I'm just gonna call him Will Smith. People Will Smith was were killing were um, were um, uh, um uh, sorry um. The, uh, uh oh, sorry, uh, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so we, we just definitely is not, it's not broken first person perspective, but it takes control away, which is something that Half-Life never did. Not necessarily a bad thing, just, um, an interesting point of comparison to the last part of the Homer, last Homer communism thing video, the last game I did for this season of Homer communism, I guess this is a new season. So yeah, this is um, this is not a happy. <laughs> I can already tell it's not gonna be a happy game. Not gonna be a happy game. Your 
Um, oh yeah, so it's like the the original ending, the one that, that didn't make it into the movie of I Am Legend. <laughs> this is what it reminds me of. I can't remember, I think that was, um, I think a Lindsay Ellis video had that. Was that, or maybe, maybe not. No, was it? Was it over there sarcastic productions? How do I know about the alternate ending of I Am Legend? Again, a movie I haven't seen. As of this recording, at least. I do plan to watch it at some point. At some point. But what if the cost is our survival, though? <laughs> I'm actually curious. Now I kind of want there to be a post-apocalypse story that ends with an Adam and Eve. You know, like like with uh, one male hero left alive after the threat is eradicated. I don't know. I feel like that would be an interesting uh, parallel. Or not, I don't know. Press any key to continue. What are you ta saying? Oh yeah, I, I couldn't, I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to put this in Russian with English subtitles. I decided against it just be, just so that people could could follow along to this series without, you know, having to read the subtitles. Um, uh, part of me is like, I actually wondered why, for a second, why I, um... Why I, uh, sorry. I actually wondered for a second why, 2035, I want to believe. So this is just like straight up advertising? That's weird. Um, uh. Interesting. Um, so, the... What was I saying? Okay, like, it's kind of... Actually kind of weird being able to see my own shadow in a game. Um, for a second I was like, how do I know it's my own shadow? And then I was like, well, because it moves when I move. And, doesn't, and stops when I stop. I always like want to explore and find achievements and stuff. A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, show it to her and she'll be happy. Why why are Russian novels so depressing? Oh, hold them. Okay. Oh, okay. It's interesting, because uh, I watched, I remember a video by, um, by uh, Mark Brown about Metro Exodus is immersion. Um, uh, uh, yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, but the... Um, uh, you know, and I, like, and I always assumed that he was, um, uh, that he was talking about, I always assumed that he was, okay, being able to just knock on people's doors is something that's surprisingly uncommon in games. Um, I just, um, I always assumed that, that the thing, that it didn't, that it kind of started with Exodus. It seemed implied that, that at Metro Exodus, and that Metro Exodus probably took it to another level, but I mean, like this is this diegetic thing is is pretty pretty focused on immersion, or at least on at least on diegetic UI, which I like, even though I don't believe in immersion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do a, I should do a talk with you on the immersive fallacy. I'm also definitely gonna do a talk with you on this William Shatner thing once I. Have, once I gather the mental fortitude and, and patience to figure it out. Oh, yeah. 
I feel like they do a good job, especially with audio design and voice acting, to sell the chaos of this. Um, uh, you know, like, there's so many different overlapping voices, all that are perfectly... You know, it's not just, like, babble, babble, babble. You know, it's not just crowd noise. It's, like, a bunch of different conversations that you, if you try to focus on, you can't... You can't do anything anyway. Um... Uh, Let's see. So bullets are currency here. Um. Uh, um. Uh, I was curious as to whether or not he would have a like. I don't like window shoppers line, but it doesn't look like it. So this is honestly. This part kind of feels like, um... Go to the armory and get geared up. Um, okay, is this the armory? Um, okay, I like how it's... I like how it's painted on, how it's, um, it's like drawn on. Oh, it's not! At first I thought it was cardboard, but it looks like it's a metro sign that they, that they painted over and then painted stuff on top. Um, uh... Okay. Oh, here, this must be the armory. Um, uh, even though I can't read Russian, <laughs> obviously. Hello, Artyom. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armor. Cool. It's got four accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a best of gun. <laughs> e e e. Don't wanna. I'm worried about using up resources. E. Oh, hold e. Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo too. Oh, I thank you. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. Do you have a universal translator as well? Put it on if you cross any radiation hot zones, or. God help you go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Well, I thank you. Okay. I actually like having to physically, you know, having having to have him give them to you anyway. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, this. Uh, okay, we got a firing range. Okay, so right, right mouse button, same down sights. I'm actually not gonna. I can, I can. I know how guns work in games. Do you think one day we could go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow, just the old pictures. Mm. Moscow's gone. Soon we'll be gone too. So, I just, oh, this makes me want to go back and replay or continue my series on eleven eleven. That's um, probably not gonna happen for a while. Oh, sorry, see viewers. I just want to take a second and enjoy this quiet moment. What a great city it was, Saint Petersburg. Saint Petersburg. I remember some nights in Nevsky Avenue, crowds, laughter, kids with ice cream, beautiful slender girls, music, and the air sweet enough to drink. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. They do give a sense of this being a society. This also, again, feels like the opening of Half-Life 2, you know? They're like, hey, walk through this shit world! <laughs> you know, this world that's just gone to shit. Okay, this must be an important part. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance. So wait, they say this was eight days later. So wait, Riga. Okay. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip, and it should not be too hard. Well, that's good. One thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter. But the ranger's life is different than ours. But wait, so so they have a certain job that means they're violent by nature? 
But it's inherently a social role. It's inherently an occupation. Anyway. I also like the way that sometimes like fade into each other. I don't know. I like that style. I personally think that, you know, clear, you know, clear subtitles are always better, you know, and if you have to do one, do one, but I also really like stylized subtitles, um, you know, as someone who, again, likes subtitles but doesn't need them. Also, oh, there's lights, you know, the light is leading me, like moths to a flame, like with Half-Life 2, I just realized, like, I'm going, I'm just happen to be going where they want me to go. Leave it! Leave it! I think, I think that's what it's saying. Although I'm not sure. Nod. Yes, I am ready to move out. Is this how this works? Oh, okay, no. Um. Uh, Are you ready? Well, let's go then. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we're gonna go on the rail. On the road to hell, there was a railroad. Like, look, these mentioned the devil. That's, that's good enough for me. You take that seat, Artyom. And you, Eugene, take this one. Apparently, one thing that the professor who signed this game to me said was that, um, uh, was that the, um, wrong lever! Um, this feels like, oh man, this game must look so much better when you actually have the graphics stuff all turned up. Actually, I, I have seen it, you know, and again, I booted it up to fiddle with the settings and whatnot. Are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Hell yes. <laughs> Is it Artyomka? I don't know. Alright, loading. Chase. First time, you're an adult. Okay, so his his friend or mentor or somebody he looks up to, Hunter, is missing, and he's you know going to find him. But first, going to Riga. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right next to Riga, and that's a big metro already. You know, this is one. This is one game where I find the desaturated browns and grays actually works visually because it's such a Russian novel crap sack of a world. Wait, Nazis? Oh, I thought this was a contempt. Wait, this is 2033, isn't it? Or is 2033 not a year? Why Nazis? And Reds, for that matter. Let's see. What's up? So these ga these games like seem like way bigger budgets. Like there are three of them, and they seem like they have way too big budgets for how well they did. Then again, it might just it might just be one of those like, well, I'm not playing it. No one else I know is playing them, so no one's playing. It. Although again, as I alluded to before, people I know actually are playing them. I don't know. Oh, can I move now? Nope. I went through that last month and well I just got a gut feeling. You have a hunch. I mean again, sometimes you gotta trust those survival instincts when you're in survival situations. You know, even though I think a lot of survival instincts are actually hindering us now because because of these like uh, okay, so we got a little rail sequence. <laughs> Literally. We have a literal rail sequence. First one I've played. The first Jekyll Segre's first literal rail sequence. Um, uh, also, I probably should have mentioned this earlier. I'm playing the Redix version. Um, I don't. I don't know. Um, uh, I I don't know. Um. Uh, Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm playing the Red X version. Um, who, when you hear who weep. Uh, 
What the hell? What was that? I don't know whether or not I should have put the gas mask on. That's what, so that's what Hunter said, right? Apparently, Metro Exodus has him, like, going, well, on an exodus. To the promised land, probably. Um, oh, okay, I, I, I like these these creatures. They're, they feel much more supernatural. Like, like they're not, like, hulking zombies, or they're not radiant. They're, like, they look, like, almost, like, specterly, you know? What the hell? Again, I'm not sure why they decided, why they mentioned this. I don't know. Should also be keeping an eye on the time. Gotta go to bed relatively early for work tomorrow. What the hell was that? And why did one of, why did Boris know about these folks going in? What happened? What the hell is going on? What is going on? <laughs> My thought exactly. I was hoping that that shooting would wake him up, but no, uh, that probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oh! Oh, there we go. Crap! I didn't realize they were right there. Bleed that bee, that bee, that bee! Oi! Okay, I love that they're- I love that ringing effect. Okay, so military grade rounds are stuff you don't want to use. Oh, there's so many of them. At least they're attacking one at a time. That's considerate of them. How- okay, realistically speaking, one of those bullets would have hit him. I'm just saying, you know, shotgun blast, I, okay, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing. But, um, I'm pretty sure that with all the shotgun blasts, especially I'm shooting, that I'm shooting like this, he would he'd be getting some shrapnel. We. Oh, he's alive still, somehow. Oh no! Crap! Ugh. Again, is this... Okay, is this scripted or... I guess it is? Okay, now I'm behind it. Okay, that's a cool effect. Die! I like how you can press them, press it twice in succession to. Oh, I thought they were talking to me, and I was like, I have a flamethrower. Snout butts. That's a weird. Race. Holy crap! The um, I'm not gonna go into detail, but the color of those, of these character, of these monsters reminds me of the um, the color of a certain character from HBO's Chernobyl. Towards the end of his life, shall we say? If you've seen the show, you know who I'm talking about. It, it's Ignatenko. It's Ignatenko. Anyway. Um. Uh, the vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone. But I was about to find myself Interesting. an unexpected and notorious partner. Who is this unexpected and notorious partner? Let us find out. All 
Woo, this is a nice change of pace. <laughs> nice little respite. It's only vaguely miserable. The misery is distant now. I wonder if we're ever going to see Artyom's face. Hell has no mirrors, am I right? You deserve a medal. Or at least some extra ammo. Yeah, you can't shoot a medal. There's no use for symbols like that in, in this world. Why is there those those weird texture issues? You really immune to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? Okay, we've got to check that. To our luck. And to our job. This kind of reminds me of... This is one thing I've actually been thinking about. Like, I kind of forgot about it. But there was a point where I just, like, told... I told friends, like, I got no pressure points. You can try and, like, pinch the back of my neck or whatever. And it doesn't happen. I don't get... I don't, like, have a... Like, if you pinch really hard, it'll, I'll feel like you're pinching me really hard. But it won't be any different. I don't know. So those are the military grade bullets, okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's down there. Okay, it's actually kind of cool to being able to see through the crack in the floor. Oh, wow. Well, that might explain it. <laughs> Because no one is an island, your death will affect others. Never seem to know for whom the bell tolls and all that. Alright, got a new note. That's cool. Okay, here we go. Um, I, mean, I don't really feel like seeing, playing around with the economy for now. Um, although, let's see. Okay, so these are two each. I feel, okay, it looks like they're queuing up the, the the audio lines when they buy them. Which, I don't know if that's better or worse than just like being like, nope, we're not gonna... Um, uh, let's see. Holy crap, that's five? Wait, made after the war in the metro. What is that? Whew. Probably shouldn't be spending this much in ammo. Then again, <laughs> ammo runs out very quickly in this game, so... Man, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. There's such thing as theft in this game. Will it will it recognize it? I don't want I don't want to accidentally pick up a fork that doesn't belong to me and then get have the entire town try and kill me. Okay, looks like this is a bottle shooting thing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be that boring, practical smart ass who's like I love how I was like, maybe there's a first aid kit in there. Nope. Oh that shit is long gone. Um, it was like, we should be saving bullets because we live in this rat infested. Yes, I am, hey, Little. The, black street waiting for you. the hell's the black I street? One um, Thanks. Let's go. this is probably a trap. But I'm kind of curious, so yeah, let's let's do this. This is actually moving like faster. Oh hey, okay, so shift is sprint. 
It's good to know. Seems to be a pretty standard thing among WASD games. Still, like, getting used to the lingo of it. Because, again, I'm, I've been a console gamer for most of my life. Let's see. That's him sitting over Come here. here. This is interesting. So if I didn't give him the bullet, but I have had to find find it for myself. Listen, I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. Interesting. I, however, know a back way. Secret passage! Cursed passage! Through the metro! Cursed, 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 cursed passage! I'll give you my AK. Anyway. You need to gear up first. Sure. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> this is like the one time, this is the one game I've been doing where I haven't been going and like finding every little detail. Was a weird little slowdown. Uh, I've been listening. I've been really into this into this the song time after time, <laughs> and I'm worried I'm gonna start singing it in the middle, of this, which is just be too weird even for me. Eh, no, ninja, no. Eh, eh. I'm gonna do some bunny hopping because I'm copying all the parts for the warning that most people don't like. <laughs> Let's see. Oh boy. Oh, okay, it's the loading screen. I was like, man, that got dark. I love that his name is Bourbon. <laughs> Why is it not vodka? The station gates were still sealed, and there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Great, we broke free. Now keep your eyes peeled. The handcar ride is over. Lots of yeah, it was over during before the. It was over for me before it was over for everyone else. I keep pressing E to jump. I think that's um Elder Scrolls. I will say, I do like how it's not all gray, you know. Ah, just, um, just mostly desaturated browns and whatnot. Ugh. Ten to one, I'm gonna be alone with like ten lurkers at some point in this game. Okay, those are just bats. Ugh. Oh. This is definitely feel survival horror, you know, just like a single creaking. It's like, oh, is that just like, um, um, I'm not entirely sure it's bullshit. Again, I like this, the more supernatural feel of this apocalypse, even if it isn't explicitly supernatural in game. What's over here? He warned me about going alone. Is that my blood or is it somebody else's blood? Oh god. I feel like this is a lot about the game that I um oh. This is a lot about this game that I'm I have to ask that question. What were all those bugs? I would love if this guy had a line that said like, what it took you so long? Where'd you go? But it's probably not gonna happen. It would be easy too. You could just like have a, um, 
You could just have a... Oh. That's blood, I think. Um, and you just have, like, a tripwire. Because, because if, if, an invisible tripwire, and if you walk over it, then the game will be like, oh, you went off the beaten path, you know? And then this person could be like, why'd you go off the beaten path? Don't treat the cans like Half-Life 2 barnacles. Watch your step. Any crunch or crackle give you away. Alright, I kinda wanna wrap this up soon. Yeah, avoid the tripwire. Once I pick up all this ammo. Oh, I feel intense right now, Steam viewers. E! Wait, do I have, do I not have, am I full? Whew. It's convenient how we have all these tutorial guides. Jort! Is that like Merida? Is that like both damn it and shit? Wonder why they just didn't record him saying damn it, considering how this is an M rated super depressing rushing game. Wait, who are we who are we hiding from again? I thought we were hiding from monsters. Are we Yeah? Let's see. What are we doing? Why are we hiding from them? I can't. I don't know. This is the problem from talking while everyone, well, while they're talking, focusing on something entirely different. What are you doing? Eh? Who's there? Uh oh. What is that can? How do I switch to secondary? I want to take this guy out with a throwing knife. Um, uh, controls. Um, secondary C, okay. Oh, I didn't think, I thought that was just pulling it up to aim. I didn't think that would use it. But good thing it took this guy out. Wait, was that? Oh, crap. Crap! Ugh. Oh boy, and the whole place erupts into gunfire. That ain't good, Chief. Wait, 
Why am I shooting these guys again? What's the difference between me and them? Oh, that's the guy. That's my guy. I, I can't tell the difference between these people. And, and I keep hearing time after time in my head at like the worst times. Let's see. So I like don't really know what happened there. Maybe I should see if I can buy an ammo upgrade for these, because it seems like and the, this seems like probably the only time of the game where ammo ammo is in abundance. Die! Die, people! The game is having forcing me to kill. I kind of wish there was a like Far Cry 2 type system where like enemies might not actually be dead. Huh. Oh, so that was a switch weapon thing. The bridge is a nasty place, so here's the plan. I'll keep you covered and you watch my back. If we work together, we make it. But don't play hero play. There's no mood to get killed today. Okay. O two. Is there any downside to just like keeping the mask on all the time? Because I feel like that would be well, that'd be a good thing in today's day and age too. Oh, so it's nine minutes. Space bars jump this time. Oh Christ. Is that it? Yeah, okay, I died there. Welp. Welp, welp, welp. That was a fast loading time. Yeah, you don't say. I feel like I'm gonna be in a situation that makes me want to play hero. What the hell? Oh, I should I gotta be sprinting, don't I? Why do I why do I keep forgetting that? Alright, it's done I'm dead, yeah I know. I feel like that, that that's supposed to look more horrifying and free more horrifying than it feels to me. Yeah, 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 don't play hero, yada yada yada. Oh. I had my fingers in the wrong spot. You don't want to get killed to get it today. Got it. There we go. Sorry about that, as in viewers. I should have done that the first time. Let's see. Wait, where? What are you? Where are you? Well, I I don't. I feel like I should be paying more attention. What what keeps? Oh God! Oh God! Yeah. 
Where? Oh, I, apparently I spoke too soon when I said there wasn't any. Okay, that froze up for a second. Am I doing okay? What are these bullet casings I heard so much about? I can use to make new ones. Oh, hi. Oh, Jeebus. What was that? Where did it come from? Where'd you go? Who did you come from? The Cotton Eye Joe. I won't sing time after time, but I will reference the frickin' Cotton Eye Joe. Should switch guns. Q, med kit. Woof! All right. You're still alive? Yeah, it looks like it. Jeez, you moved over there really fast. <laughs> The idea of this whole post-apocalyptic world under the, under the, under, underwater or whatever is really, really cool. Or not, not underwater, under, well, post an underwater post-apocalypse would work. I mean, that's, I guess it's Soma. Um, anyway, the, the Metro thing is, is cool. Okay, so Wait, did me... Did my going moving down those stairs mean they were gone now, or was that just a coincidence? What the hell is this? So I've got two shotguns. That was probably a bad move. Oh, is he showing what he's doing, not what I should be doing? Holy crap! Oh, it's sticking. I thought like someone had bent it upward. That makes more sense, but still. Wait, he didn't just say matter, did he? You're telling me. Even the set pieces like have this muted feel to them. It's not like big, you know. This it's not like Uncharted where it's like big and bombastic. It's like, well, you got on the train. It just barely, you just barely avoided getting killed. You're you're still alive now. Yay! It was exciting, you know. Anyway. Oh yeah. I love, now I'm just picturing Admiral Akbar from Star Wars being like, It's a trap! Fuck it. We're, we're going in anyway. What is that noise? Okay, so that's an alt fire, not an aiming thing. Ow! There we go. So I actually have to avoid. I actually have. I can't get. I, it kind of feels. Forgive me, but it kind of feels like it's um, something like Dark Souls, where you really want to like healing is such is a risk.
So is this are these wisps supposed to be radiation? Even though even that just like looks more like will of the wisps than radiation. Again, there's just this ghostly ethereal feel to this. Alright, I love it how it's listed in time. Okay, so now I'm having another hallucination or whatever. Oh, for Christ's sakes. These freaking bugs. Bothering me. These are not spiders, though. Oi! I need to play some. I need to play or watch something light after this. Holy crap. What am I? What is this? Also, why did I like instinctively turn around? What is going on? I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Wanky. Ah! So that's him opening the door. So why am I back here? Wait, that feels like a death, but... What? What just happened? Is this like an Orpheus and Eurydice thing? I can't look back? Is this... Am I getting overwhelmed by radiation? What the hell? Uh, my agreement, agreement was I protect you and you guide me. Man, there's a lot of bodies here to loot. Wait, why? Why haven't they been looted before? Why haven't like it's? There's a graveyard full of bodies in this hellscape that, and they haven't been picked clean. As terrible as it sounds. How is that not, um, uh, sing for me, Phantom of the Opera, I think. Um, uh, that's probably a bad sign, anyway. This, is this the outside world? Surface, sorry, the service? And, oh, no. What is that? What keeps happening? What the hell just happened to me? Artyom, did you hear those songs? I wouldn't wish it. I thought it was I wish it wasn't on an enemy for a second. And I was like, hmm. I also love how he doesn't say my worst enemy. He says an enemy. Let's see. Uh... Ugh. This is the way that sit up setup is deeply unsettling. All right, I I don't. <laughs> I might have to call it. I have to. There's just this like lingering like stress, you know. And I, I might have to. I, okay, next checkpoint, I'm gonna call it. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. 
Wait, why don't I see my ammo counts there? Oh, now I do. Yeah, seriously. We would really not like to die out here, if it can be helped. What's with the ringing? Hi! Well, thank you. Why are you on the tracks? <laughs> Let's see. Out the You're out? <laughs> How few bullets do you have? Jeebus. Q, medkit, medkit. Hoi. Screw it. No, I, well, I gotta finish this. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good to know. I, I asked, I asked earlier if there was a downside, and well, <laughs> there's a big one. So wait, what happens if it gets broken in a fight? Do you have to fix it, or are you just screwed? Like, is that a soft lock? These things are tougher than um, the older ones and the other ones. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. I'm just. Very focused on trying not to die here. This seems different than the other ones. I feel like. Do as he says. These guys have no sense of humor. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh yeah, and I'm here too. But they don't know me, so it's understandable. Wait, why do you say we said in the shit? We've got a little job to finish, then we'll get back to you. Remember where you should wait for me? Wait for me, I'm coming. Wait, I'm coming with you. Wait for me. Alright, this is a good spot. The end. You could buy almost anything. But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries. Uh oh. I think it's just gonna, yeah, alright. Just wanted to make sure, scene viewers, sorry. Holster, your weapons I want! Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, main menu. Uh, yes. Alrighty. Thank you for watching, scene viewers. I love how, I actually like how this is pretty diegetic, or, uh, or, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you have some, something to say, let me know in the comments. You want to be notified it, when I do more of these videos. Subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, Twitter, Letterboxd, and Nexus.gg videos in the description down below. Um, 
and uh, share the video with anyone you think would like it. Alright, esteemed viewers, I have been Jekyll Stein Gray, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye!